Good morning, traders. Good morning, everybody. Morning, Peter, Mark, Mugen, Gozu, Sean. Good morning, everybody. So, um, hope you had good holidays. Uh, we have still uh, two days to trade, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and then another three days off. Um, the market is hot in the sense that we have a lot of opportunities. Uh, I personally uh, started to uh, look at um, some pullback over here this morning on uh, uh, Apple and Facebook, and I will explain why. So this morning, you can see over here, Apple, this is a daily chart. We have our trend up, okay? So long term is bullish, okay? Even over here, the indicator is saying strong bullish. We see that the first band is above the second band, so we are bullish as well. Uh, we are uh, above this previous resistance, which is our trend line. But we're still below this uh, 182, uh, 182 and 30 resistance, okay? So why I'm saying about a small pullback over here? Look over here, all right? So we have this uh, yellow line, which is R200. And you can see that the price always stays above, okay? This is our like eye guide. If J lines are above the 200, we are bullish in the short term. Surely, always in the long term, we are bullish on uh, Apple. But we have to consider what it's doing right now, okay? So right now, the price is just below the 200. And also, we have the J line shifting below the 200. So for today, for the open, until a reversal, I'm not really looking too long. My idea is to look for Apple too long in the next days, next weeks, if we will have still another curl, another breakout. But for today, I'm pretty conservative. So you can see that uh, <clears throat> you can see that we had a big run over here on Monday. Okay, so this was a very juicy push. And then the last two days, basically yesterday and this morning pre-market, we are lateral. Okay, so we are not moving over here. Yesterday, we were looking for a break of that pre-market resistance, which is this one. Instead, we reject. This is a common pattern. For example, in the small cap plan, we like to take the short. Often, these are called stuff. These behave like stuff. Now, this morning, we have a support 178 and 50. If we're going to break, prepare to go down to this 177 and 50. And then, ideally, we have this 176. Okay? So, until... Apple won't break this 181, 181 and 50. I'm not looking for a long position, okay? Morning, Sean, Matt, Durnan. Good morning, Manu. Uh, glad to have you here. Val, Sam, Eric, Gon, Donald. Good morning, traders. The Hunt, Taru. Good morning, good morning. So, uh, this is Apple, okay? So, what I'm going to trade, am I going to load the boat short or buying puts because I'm looking for a pullback today. Well, first of all, let me show you one thing. On the daily, we are still above the 90 MA. On the hourly chart, we are still above the daily. So we can have a pullback, but essentially this pullback, the maximum target I can expect will be this 177.50. So basically gonna move like one buck and a half, two bucks the most. If I'm shorting counter trend, I'm not really looking to buy a big position in puts or to short some big size because I need to trade always in the direction of the main trend. Okay, if you want to have an edge, you have to do trend following. I was talking with uh, a good trader. Uh, he trades only uh, futures, and he's a he's a reversal trader. Okay, uh, for example, uh, the trade goes up, uh, the trend goes up. He likes to trade a short, the top, cover the bid, cover the dips, but Doing like this, even if he had a very high win rate, uh, he got some really big uh, um, losses. Okay, so fighting the trend can really be lethal. So right now, as I said, I'm not looking personally to take any kind of short position on Apple until we are below the J lines. Until below J lines, until J lines are above the 200. Charu, is it clear? Uh, Pierre calling. Go Su J. Eighth, good morning, buddy. Gary. So I'm pretty conservative over here. 
Uh, this is on the five, as we said, okay? So consider the support 177.50, the resistance over here 181.30. Good morning, John, IP, Gondo. So Apple, right? The second one is Facebook. So almost the same environment. We have uh, a daily chart, which is mainly bullish, all right? You can see over here the price going up, staying above the J lines. Uh, the uh, faster J lines is above the slower J lines. We had the trend line break. So this is a pretty good uh, swing pattern opportunity. But now I have to look what is doing right intraday, okay? So for now, it's consolidating. The price is just shifting right now below the 347, almost below the 346. And you can see over here that J lines are slightly going below the main 200K, so this yellow one. So if this will be the scenario, if today we're gonna crack 3845, I'm not really looking to trade this. I'm only looking again to trade long in the direction of the main uh, side, the main trend. Um, Facebook has pretty good options like uh, Nvidia, like MU, like Apple, very tight spread, um, not that expensive. I really like to trade these between um, uh, Tuesday and uh, Friday. Um, I always look to, uh, to trade uh, out of the money, all right, in order to have uh, a better percentage of, uh, uh, let's say, return. And uh, you can also find on YouTube, I, I posted over there uh, a free video. It's uh, of two years ago, I think. Uh, about options. It's very actual. The setup that I used uh, back in the days in 2010, 2015, 2020 for the big caps option are the same exact uh, patterns that I used to have in the Italian European market, uh, pair notes, uh, that I transport over here also for the options. Um, what I don't like about trading Facebook in a trading range is that it can be very choppy. Okay, so just look at yesterday. Yesterday, I was looking for this to run, okay? And we started very big over here. The volume was there, you see the volume over here. Increase of volume, green volume, so strong. Perfect breakout over here of the pre-market high. Uh, we were looking for this to push. It basically pushed only four bucks from the pre-market high. And then it simply started to stall over here, okay? Started to stall. You can see over here the volume getting weaker. And then we started to unwind back to the open level. This morning, back to the open level. So careful trading long this over here today, okay, traders? We need to break this 352. We need to reestablish that trend like this, higher lows. For now, wait. At least I'm waiting. This is my plan, what I'm going to do. Um, morning Road, Paul. Tesla is that one. So... Um, Tesla, we have two uh, main trends to consider. The long-term trend is bullish, okay? The J lines are, the fast J lines are above the slow J lines over here on the daily. The hourly is still below this trend line, okay? okay? So I'm not really thinking any long until that 1120 breakout. Okay, I don't know if traders you uh, have been trading Tesla is not one of those stocks that uh, you won't find uh, spread. So if you trade this, even if you trade this with options, you may find spread. So you cannot trade in chop. That's the main point. Okay, so you can trade in a trading range something that has a very low spread, maybe like two or three or five cents of spread, like say an option, but you cannot trade Tesla if it's in a trading range because that trading range spread that you will find will simply kill you. Uh, also, um, Tesla over here is making a triple top. So it's not only that one time is rejecting, but it's making a rejection one, two, three times. We have two main levels. This level over here, which is 1080, 1075, 1080, and this level over here, which is 1120. For now, the price is in this trading range. So can I really long uh, and uh, having the possibility of being heard over here? Because if re they reject over here, I will have a very bad stop loss because I cannot simply risk the low of the range, okay? 
So I'm looking for a break of the C1120, whenever this will be. I'm not saying this will be actually today, but I'm saying if I'm gonna have that breakout in the next days or in the next year, then I'm gonna look over here for a consolidation above and then I'm looking to trade this long. In that case, I will look for 1150, first 1130, then 1150 calls. Um, if we're gonna break instead this support, so 1080, 1075, prepare to see this uh, uh, J lines level, okay? Paul, Roll, John, uh, IP, Charu, uh, do you see this uh, the same way? Okay. Okay. So let's watch today uh, this trading range. I really suggest you to put always your levels, okay? Support and resistance. Uh, we have over here an ascending trend line and we have a resistance, all right? Try to have, and this is really my opinion, at least what, I, what I've been doing, what I suggest to my wife, what, I, what my mother has been doing, is try to have more than one chart. So not only have an intraday chart, if you intraday trade, if you day trade, but also try to have a longer time frame. This means uh, one hour, uh, four hour chart, daily or weekly, okay? I like to have the daily, the hourly. From time to time, I will shift the hourly to the four hour chart. You don't have to make it really too complicated, but for example, uh, we can do like this. Above, I will put hourly, and below, I can put uh, a five-minute chart. You know, with uh, with almost every uh, with every app charting app out there, you can simply uh, link together the charts. So we'll here I will put Tesla, so we can have the hourly chart. And then below I can have a, or a five minutes or a one minute chart. You can see that right away this morning, uh, Tesla is reversing. Uh, we have also Nvidia, but basically the same scenario right now that Apple and Facebook uh, are doing. And then I want to spend uh, five minutes on yes. Any future traders over here? The good thing of futures is that you can specialize in two or three uh, products. I mean, you can do the same even on big caps, right? By trading, for example, always Tesla or Apple, or Facebook or Nvidia. Uh, these are the ones that I prefer. Then other traders may prefer maybe MD, MU or Baba or Python or Xiam. That's really personal. Uh, trading, yes, you have a very low margin requirement. Uh, some traders were asking in a small cap room. I don't have any affiliate, so I'm really talking about whatever I suggest is really honestly what I believe is. Uh, Ninja Trader is a very good platform for futures. I really like it. Um, I have their license. Uh, I like also Amp Futures. I think it's a very really good one. Uh, but then you can choose whatever you want. Okay, just that's my personal opinion. Um, margin are very low. You can have margin of 500 bucks, 1,000 depends. Overnight is a little bit higher. Uh, as you know, each uh, point is 50 bucks. You can trade also the mini, uh, the, uh, the, the micro contract. And look what happened over here yesterday on yes. So yes is really showing strength. Uh, what are the levels that you always should watch when you trade futures? For me, the most important levels are looking at the day lines. All right, just look at this one. Okay, since basically June, we always dip into the J-lines and start pushing back up. So the use of J-lines with ES is really working good. We cannot say that we have a weak trend, we have an uptrend. It's true that over here in September, October, we had a pullback for basically uh, more than one month. We had two months pullback over here, then we restarted this trend. Another pullback over here, like another uh, two weeks, uh, another pullback over here about four or five days and now it's pushing back up again and we had a strong breakout each time you have a breakout 
look for that consolidation above and then a reestablish of the trend. That consolidation above that can be even uh, explained as a pullback often. So we have one, two, three, four bars. Fifth bar over here is, you can call it like, it seems like an abandoned baby or a shooting star should be a little bit more extended um, from the previous bar. This is basically if you consider the candlestick. And then this next bar seems like forming, okay? Seems like forming a possible reversal. Um, if you go and look at uh, the chart patterns, okay? Seems like we are forming this, right? Now, pardon, Edmoi, pardonnez-moi how I draw, but this is basically the, the pattern, okay? This is, this is a reversal pattern. So today, if we break this low, we can have an unwind until the 90 May. Good morning, Mary. Paul, what do you think about this? Kate? Yeah, I really like to hear your thoughts, traders. I mean, it's always helpful, uh, even for me, to to hear your thoughts. Uh, okay, Paul, but I mean, it's true that, for example, Paul is saying over here, honestly, I, I like Paul. I think he has all the qualities to become a great trader and uh, he's also part in mentoring. Uh, and he's saying, for example, he never follow future. It's fine, but you know, they always say this was the first thing that I learned when I started trading uh, uh, futures that futures are like the anticipation in many cases of what the stock will do. Okay, so always look, it's true, looking the Qs is good, looking the SPY is good, but try to look also in ES and NQ when you trade, for example, uh, big caps. If you trade Nvidia, Facebook, Apple, as I know you do. Look always at that NQ and even parts of the DS, especially NQ. Okay, buddy. <clears throat> good morning, Grande. Good morning, Jay. I wish that for you, Jay. Then let's buy some some uh, Bitcoin together. My model is giving me that thirty-seven forty, and I will. I just showed uh, when I had the three main. Uh, setups too long in the last four years so i'm gonna look for that buddy and soon i will realize a video on how i get in and out bitcoin revealing my portfolio my wallet and also parts of my strategy okay happy birthday me again so this is 40s yes. therefore if we're gonna pull back again we have the same uh, exact scenario that we are looking on Apple, on Facebook, or Tesla this morning. I'm not looking too long ES, but ES is a very good scalp, uh, I would say, product, okay? If you don't know how to trade futures, start really trading this, for example, with Ninja paper, and or try to use a micro contract. So you basically lose very small, you basically gain very small. The setup that I use on futures are the same setup that I use on big caps with only one difference. When I trade futures, I like also to incorporate in my trading also a tick chart. And if you scalp, you may look, for example, at uh, uh, 512 or 333. I prefer, for example, the 1024 tick. And some of these strategies I will explain in, in the one-on-one -on -one better uh, or if you take the uh, the mentoring but it's basically uh, what I'm looking over here for example we had some was explained some positions that we had we have a better reading with a tick chart often than using a one minute uh, time frame uh, the tick chart if you don't filter too much I mean if you don't uh, use if you don't use a higher uh, number of ticks uh, you will see too much uh, confusion, too many wiggles, too many spikes. So try to stay 
if you want to always have a clear picture at least above the 512 okay you can use a 512 1024 a 1600 i think those are the best read if you look for example yes for mq uh try to use different okay so we'll go over that in the in the mentoring uh as you can see over here as what has been doing lateral since yesterday the support over here at uh, 4770 resistance at 4800 if we are in this trading range over here i'm not really looking to trade and two things to look first we had the higher range okay so this range up here now we fill that range and we are in the range below which is this one over here so we'll need to look over here if we're going to break lower and get to the 47.50 or if we're going to break this 47.90 and going to push over here i'm not looking too long this until i won't have this zone over here okay so we have basically one zone second zone and then third one or third one over here okay so one or those two don't trade in the range we'll kill you unless you buy support sell resistance or short resistance buy support okay uh, my good morning poll was a little bit clearer now. <clears throat> morning, Mary. Good morning, Christina. So this is for, as we said, what concerns uh, ES, Facebook, Apple, Tesla today. OK, as I said, I'm not going over NVIDIA because we have already three main big caps to uh, watch. <clears throat> so if you want to look what ES is doing this morning, OK, you may ask Jay how I can look to trade something like this. OK, Paul. I'm trying to read your mind right now. I mean, God help me, but uh, follow me over here. So we have that level that we were saying before is the main uh, level of support. OK, we broke that support now it became a resistance. And now we're simply fading below. OK, this level. And you can see that each time over here we have a sequence of lower highs. And we establish this downtrend. We also can see a trend if we start looking at the distance between the J lines and the J lines over here. You see that this distance is getting always far, right? Over here, then over here, okay? So this means an established trend. And we're talking for an intraday pullback uh, towards the main uh bullish trend that we have okay morning leaves good morning marcel so this is for what concerns yes now we're gonna keep tesla over here apple facebook yes remember this morning today traders at 10 15 we're gonna have a webinar with bookmap uh it's uh on uh, the bookmap discord room uh, you can attend if you are bookmap subscribers you have the link also in the discount room or if you want uh, here on the uh, description so why use bookmap bookmap is basically my confirmation in trading uh, when i'm looking at the charts and if you are i would say swinging it's fine you're looking at the charts you don't really care about you know the order flow um about that um that parameter so you're just looking for example at a chart pattern at your strategy uh you may look maybe at the volume indicator but not too much at the order flow when i'm day trading so when i'm taking a position that can be a starting of a swing or it can be an option uh, position can be a future position can be a crypto position or it can be a stock position then i start looking toward the flow uh, I released in uh, 
uh, on, on YouTube, so it's free for everybody, a lot of videos explaining the main concept of why it's very useful if you want to be a professional trader or even advanced trader or even just having an, an edge, why it's useful to use Bookmap. Uh, I'm not here to sell you anything. It's just like what I've been finding useful for my trading and what has been increasing my win rate, my confidence. Because if you find the confidence, remember, you will put more cash okay, in a position and that will lead to holding the trade longer, having a better stop loss, and that increases your win rate and your average win, win, win sorry, versus average loss, okay? So that win uh, loss ratio. Looking at today at the small cap land, we have, I'm gonna put over here, Pixie. This is a stock that is gapping and look over here. When you look at, uh, at the daily chart, you need to put the daily uh, J lines, okay? So you can see over here the first band, the second band. Sean, are you with me? Jay, are you with me? Guys, Dali, good morning. So we can see how Pixie reacts over time. So we cannot really talk about a strong stock. We have what we can call over here a shell. And the reason why is because each time we went to a daily J lines, look over here, 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 look over here. What happened each time we went to the daily J line? We were rejected. So we have a stock that is strong bearish. Each time it pops for a gap or any other reason, it can be a news, can be a, um, a press release, can be a, a newsletter, can be a pump. Anytime that we have this, it gets to our J lines and start to unwind each time. So we have a rejection. This is one, I would say, of those examples like CANF, like MBRB in the past, uh, that is basically living through the illusion. Okay, so we have always pump and dump, and then the trade goes down. Now, today, you can see again, uh, we have uh, push on the 28. And what I'm doing over here, I'm going to put my support and resistance levels of the previous days. Okay, so we'll make the plan together. Am I going to consider traders days where we have a low volume, like over here? Not really. Okay, because I'm not really interested to see days where we traded two or three million volume. Maybe this like four years ago, but right now with this mark, with this liquidity, we have to look for days where at least we trade more than 20 million, like this day over here and this day over here. So I always look for the high of the bar and also the close of the bar. So over here, over here, these are the, sorry, these are the two close of the bar and high of the bar, okay? So what you get from this, we have all this level of resistance Okay, so we could do like this. We can zoom in a little bit and we can put this level of resistance and this level of resistance. Now, we also have the, over here, this resistance and I can put this over here, okay? So this is not really necessary when you trade but you can start looking to do this stuff. The other suggestion is volume profile. So we're gonna have, I use a volume profile on some brokers. Let me see over here where we have it on uh, TOS, volume profile, volume profile, volume profile. I'm blind today, here we are. Okay. So we can set this time profile per tar, for example. Zoom out. Let me see over here. We 
can put tick size, chart, expansion node, profile, short point of control, show value area, yes. Chart, let's put over here, let's see what it comes up. Okay. So let's put the tick size. We can put one month, chart is fine. Expansion, yes. So expansion if you want on the right side. Otherwise, I'm gonna put it over here on the left side. Let's see how it comes right now, okay. So this is our point of uh, control, which is this level over here at 271, which tells us one thing. This is the, uh, in our um, uh, screen right now, this is the highest point traded of volume, okay? So 271. So meaning that this level is where we have the major concentration of volume trading in the past. So it's a big catalyst, okay? And then what we have over here, traders as well, we have this resistance. So this not doesn't really seem this morning a plan, but seems more like a lesson. This blue area is called high volume node, okay? So this zone tells you that on the chart this is the major volume area so when you're taking into consideration today this stock you have also to picture in your mind you don't read really, you don't need really to to put it in your mind but you have to picture this zone over here as the highest volume zone okay sean Alejandra, durnan traders make sense Yes, Gozu. Yes. Sony cows di sopra. Exactly. So start pitching over here at 240 at 270 as well. Now we can go to a five minute chart and what are you gonna see? Look over here. So all this plan, okay, is because I wanted to show you this. I wanted to show you where we had that extension in pre-market. Now, Gabby, Darius, Stankere, Manu, stop flying over here with your mind. Please stay with us. Alejandra, Gozu. Now tell me, where the stock top today? I'm really waiting for your answer. Exactly. So remember to eight, right? Okay, let's go back to the daily. What do we have traders at 280? Let me put this over here. At 280 over here, we have this previous resistance that we put over here, okay, which was the close, close high volume. Also, we said that between 240 and 270, so I'm going to pick for you over here. We had the high volume node, okay? This area, the high volume node of our volume profile, all right? So now I can use also the hourly chart. You can see better over here. And the last one, look, the daily resistance, we went just below that level into the high volume profile. So you have to put all things together, okay? Now, when I put my book map in the morning, and this is really how to trade, okay? It's not really some numbers that I'm putting there. This is really a strategy built a 4-1 chart pattern. Now, we're gonna put over here this morning um, YGMZ, which is already over here. And we're gonna look for book map, okay? So who has bookmap over here, traders? Who has bookmap over here? So Yossi, oh Yossi, sure he has it. Charlie, Eric, John, IP, 
Road. Okay. And what do you think, traders, about uh, about Bookmap? Is it helping you? You can be honest, all right? If you have some, uh, I mean, some uh, critics or problems, uh, you can just like reach out. Okay, so there are many ways to have uh, to have bookmap. Okay, uh, just one second, traders. Sorry, just one second. So, exactly, exactly, exactly. I mean, there are many tools out there. Uh, for example, I have also Sierra. Sierra is also a good tool, uh, but I find uh, Bookman more precise, at least for the way that I use it, okay? I don't say that something is better than that one. I tell you for what I trade, how I trade, in order to have, I showed over here my, uh, my year, has been, I would say, pretty decent and uh, we had this kind of uh, of results in terms of um, of setups right this was a one account with 79 percent win rate uh, the point is whenever i start looking at bookmap i find that highest win rate so over here we saw uh, ygmz having a daily resistance into the 3 340 having also high volume profile 240 and 270 and this morning we had the top over here at 270 okay so i'm starting to look how i can increase the timing of my entry so we've been talking about um, the million dollar pattern okay i know that a lot of you traders over here use it it's not only on an hourly chart but it's also on a five minute chart and you can see over here that each bar starts making a higher high a higher high a higher high okay so each bar pushes makes a higher high over here we don't form a higher high we form a top and then we start having a uh, rejection as a million dollar pattern you can see right away that we put a top at 275 okay so a lot of traders cannot enter full size this because you don't know that maybe you can have a, a wiggle down here and then push okay so how to have that conviction so looking over here, I'm putting beside book map, okay? Now you will see a lot of lines, but we can take off some of these lines called heat maps. And we're gonna filter, for example, let's see if 999 is a good fit. Okay, it is. So look over here, what happens traders? This is zooming out, okay? And I'm looking to show you only the price section. These uh, levels that you see over here are orders. Uh, at a certain point, you see over here price goes up make higher lows higher lows this is a double top that we have okay and you can see that we have a buyer over here seems more like a, a possible or spoofing or i'll go over here trying to sustain over here the move we don't know that for sure and a certain point he gets over here to move he cancels okay so he simply cancels right and we remain with this structure over here of selling pressure and you see over here he doesn't get filled he removes himself exactly here right he removes himself we have a breakdown makes a lower high 250 which is basically this level over here and we have our rejection into the golden zone so this is becoming an a plus right now because we have our first million dollar pattern over here. The first bar not making a higher high, but instead uh, closing red, a rejection of our 250 level, the algo going away over here. So basically what he says, oh wow, we don't have any more 
possible support. We don't have any more like that liquidity we want to buy to hold this up, but instead we're simply going away from the book. So they're removing, they're removing over here. No more dip buyers, okay? And then we start to unwind. Start to unwind, having a rejection over here around 8.30. Over here around 8.30, uh, where we are. Sorry, that is Pixie. I did the wrong one, pardon traders. My bad, Pixie. Which gave it the same setup this morning. Okay, so we had over here the push into that. Uh, let me put back at four. We have to load up up till four fifty. Pixie, okay. You have to load at least four or five hours in order to have the all pre-market. Okay, finally. Okay, so remember that 270 over there and look what happens over here, traders. The push into that resistance, this is even a better picture. And this tells us we have sellers over here. Then more sellers jump in. And then this simply goes to the VWAP over here. Some VWAP support and then unwinds all the way down. So you can see that, let's try to zoom in over here. You can see that traders, we start pushing, making higher lows, higher lows, higher lows, higher lows, higher lows. Now, all these, so these bands below are called heat maps. These are supports. So these are buyers, okay, coming. And they are acting as a support. They're starting to buy the dips and pushing. At a certain point, you don't see any more of those dips over here, over here, right? So we don't have any more of these buyers that they move up. But instead, we have a shift in momentum and they start being above. So before we had YGMZ, which is the other small cap that I'm looking at this morning. And this is the instead Pixie, which is giving us at that 270, which is the high volume profile, the level of resistance. Once we have this level of resistance, so we have these sellers that cannot get filled, but they're topping out over here the, uh, the price section, they're moving down. Okay, you can see over here they cancel. Possibly these are this and this, all right? So they're moving down. And again, they're not getting filled over here. They're holding the price down. They're moving down again. And now over here we have somebody that I believe over here is not really buying, but I believe more over here is covering their position. Okay, maybe some buyers, might, some covers of position. When we get into the 7 a.m. Um, time, you can see over here we start bouncing and again look what happened we go into a construction of wall of sellers so all the buyers that we had before are possibly selling over here and even short sellers are jumping in so you can see over here that we have a buyer a buyer a buyer a buyer so they're holding over here the price until they can get out Okay, and over here we start selling, selling, selling. So I don't really see this morning Pixie with this volume, with this price section to go all the way up. I'm looking for more on Y. Okay, on Pixie and on the other one, which is YGMZ. Let me see YGMZ exactly. I'm looking for two gap and crap. Okay, makes sense. All right, good morning, Louis. So now I'm going to cover also YGMZ. And the same thing over here, we had that 270 on YGMZ, same as we saw over here before. So that pushed into 270. 
And again, you can see that we have no more buyers, but we have instead dips uh, being uh, weak. So when I say dips being weak means no support, okay? Over here, small support, but no support. And over here, instead, we have over here tops. In this case, we have all our 270, 267, and more resistance, which is this level over here. You can see the double top. Even over here, we have a first part called front side. And then once we fill the view up over here, we start having our backside. Okay. So these are the two that I'm looking for faders. Uh, if we start having over here a high volume, we can still have a push. But for now, with this volume, they're going to be faders 190, 180. All right. So this is how we look for uh, small caps. Okay, traders, make sense. Jay, Sean, Mugen. Perfect. So, uh, ISIG. This stock, traders, has a micro float. A lot of volume yesterday. Uh, we went from basically five, six bucks up until 35.50. We had a very high volume, multiple flow rotation on this. If I'm, if I remember correctly, we were talking about a 500k uh, float. Let's check together. So uh, uh, ISIG, we have a float of uh, no 900k. All right, so nano float, whatever is below one million, I call nano float. We have a very low market cap. Uh, this stock over here has uh, two days closing green, two days closing red. And I also believe that, look over here, traders this morning. Okay, this is on the, uh, on the hourly. And I also believe that if we can break this morning that 25, 26, we can push back again, again to 35. It really depends from the volume. So you can put your volume profile, you can put book map to see the resistance, but you can also see clearly over here on the chart, we have this 25 is the main catalyst, all right? I'm not looking to short this uh, until I won't have a backside. This is still front side of the move, is a day two gap up. We have the one minute Jalen's above the three, the five. This is still a strong uptrend. Look at huge amount of volume for me over here. We don't have a clear setup pattern, all right? The short pattern is over here when you start seeing this bar being red. And right now the bar all green, all pushing, all strong. So I will look more for dips uh, to buy along, ideally 90 May or J lines. And I will look for some kind of pattern, which is called late FA, like this too short. Okay. So until I have this volume, until I have this strong push, I'm not looking to short this. Stay really away from shorting the front side. Instead, wait for the back side if you want to short. Front side, you can see over here, we had so many dips opportunities into the one minute day lines that were fantastic. So this is what I'm looking right now. Okay, let's fix our charts. So we have, as we said, Tesla this morning. We covered Tesla, we covered Apple, we covered Facebook, we covered ES. I'm gonna put five minute chart for all of these. Uh, we have ISIG. And over here, I'm going to put Pixie, okay? We have Pixie and also we have YGMZ. For now, I'm putting Pixie, okay? We made all our morning explanation on this. I'm going to keep Bookmap uh, next to me. So this is Pixie. You can see the huge amount of resistance. I like to, think, uh, to keep things pretty clean. So put, for example, uh, 10,000 shares minimum. So you can see how more clear, uh, clear is Bookmap over here. And for now, we can cancel our levels. All right, traders. Uh, MU, let's look. So MU is pushing strong right now. The main resistance is between 94 and 95. So we have a huge volume area of resistance over here. Let's see our hourly chart. This is our resistance. Let's see our daily. So we have 
a strong uptrend. We have a day of pullback. We have right now a push over here. We are above the previous day range. No. So I'm basically staying away from this. Okay. Ivan is asking, is Baba short? So again, looking at the daily, remember that Baba and Python are my favorite stock to short from a long time. Beautiful swings. It's not hard to trade these. Look just simply where we have the Zealands over here, right? So this one and this one, those two red arrows are the perfect entry to swing short or to buy puts. And something like this really can be your yearly paycheck. I'm not really kidding, your yearly paycheck over here. Now, if you look at Baba, we have a support 108. If you look at the hourly, we are definitely breaking down that main trend line. So I'm definitely body today with you. If we can stay below the 113, okay? Below the 113, I'm simply looking Baba for a short. With our setup, Zayla rejection or an IMA. So all the setup that we have in small cap room. Okay, which broker do you have, Kate, if I can ask? Also, traders, if you like the morning screen share, put a like, you know, just need to click. I appreciate that. Means like you like this one and we can continue to do this. Uh, and uh, uh, if you have questions, reach out, really. Always answer every single body, every single person. <clears throat> also, the last thing, uh, we're gonna start mentoring. Uh, what day exactly in January? Dev. The 10th yeah. of uh, January, we're going to start mentoring program. Um, if you're looking to really find your edge in trading, I think that's the best program available right now. This is really what, who is making big numbers in the room is doing. So, or did some big professional trader came out from this. So reach out to team at Trader Co or Mama Beer to ask for more information. <clears throat> okay, Kate. Okay. All right, so Bob over here, keep me informed even, this can be a good one. All right, so there's 9.23. Uh, remember, 10.15, we're gonna have a webinar with uh, Bookmap. Hope you enjoyed this morning screen share. Uh, I will release a video in the next days on uh, my positions wallet in uh, Bitcoin and uh, crypto. Uh, I think it's a fantastic moment to uh, look at those things at least uh, it's already some years I'm uh, building a portfolio and uh, whatever uh, have a good day uh, keep uh, always uh, always follow your plan that's the most important thing and never get uh, and never start following somebody else because maybe start a position I don't know on another stock another crypto because you're not in and you see he's making money so you're gonna jump and follow him make a plan and things will come okay so trader as a professional thank you very much have a good day and stay safe